The difference between an average appearing drapery and a stunning drapery is usually not in the fabric selected or the precision of sewing, but rather in the care taken in hanging and dressing the drapery. For a professional drapery installer, it takes just a few extra steps, not extra time, to achieve the desired results. Your finished custom drapery from Lafayette will arrive folded, banded, placed on a hanger, and covered with a heavy-duty plastic bag to keep it clean and minimize wrinkling. Review the shipping label for style, size, fabric identification, and room location. Included inside the bag are care instructions that should be reviewed and left with the consumer. Remove the drapery from the bag and place the bag aside to begin your installation. Hang the drapery on the traverse rod by inserting the drapery pin on the left side of the right panel into the first hole of the overlap master carrier. Insert the pin from behind, like this. The second pin goes into the third hole of the master carrier. Then insert each successive pin into the slides on the rod. Note that the installer moves across the width of the rod while inserting the pins into the slides. Do not stay in one spot and bunch the drapery toward you, as that will cause unwanted wrinkles in the buckram. Do not attach the last pleat or return flap at this time. The left panel is installed in the same way as the right panel. Begin by inserting the leading pin into the underlap master carrier from behind, like this. Inserting the pins from behind on both the overlap and underlap master carriers assures that the pins will not rub against the fabric, causing unusual wear, when the draperies are opened and closed. Insert the next pin into the last hole on the carrier. Then proceed to hang the left panel as you did the right. Once the panels are pinned on the rod, some preliminary dressing is in order. Take care to straighten the pleats on the rod. Then pull the center of each pleat forward to position and accentuate the pleats. This action makes it easier to create beautiful folds during the final dressing stage. The next process is a necessary but often overlooked step in installing a drapery. The heading of the drapery includes buckram, a stiffening fabric that provides a firm foundation for the pleats. But in order for the drapery to traverse properly, this buckram must be broken or creased between the pleats. To accomplish this process, you need to place your finger behind the header fabric between the two pleats. Pull forward, increase the fabric and the buckram. Repeat this action between all the pleats. For draperies that hang in front of the rod, on standard traverse rods, the buckram should be creased forward, as we are showing here. For draperies hanging below the rod, on decorative rods, the buckram should be creased towards the rear of the drapery. Once the buckram has been broken, it's time to set the final pleat and returns. All of the drapery pins are set at the same height at the factory, but because the pins on the face of the rod attach through slides, these pleats hang forward slightly. The last pleat and return flap attach directly to the rod, so they appear to hang slightly higher than the face pleats. Experienced installers will make a slight adjustment in the height of the last two pins to allow for this unequal appearance. Simply remove the last two pins and reinsert them approximately one eighth to one quarter of an inch higher. This will drop the height of the pleats slightly, providing a uniform height appearance across the top of the drapery. You might also note that the installer has moved the final pin a bit closer to the outside of the drapery. This will reduce any pull on the final face pleat and allow it to sit squarely on the rod. When installing on a decorative traverse rod, the pins do not need to be moved because the drapery hangs below the rod. Simply add the last slide for the last pleat, hook the return pin into the bracket, and attach the finial. The final dressing of the drapery takes three steps, folding, banding, and final detail. 
To fold the drapery effectively, it is important to position your body correctly. Kneel on the floor at a 45 degree position to the drapery panel. Your right knee should be against the baseboard. As you are working, contain the folds between your knee and your forearm. This position will assure you of maintaining the correct distance from the wall. Make sure you can see the top of the drapery easily and position your hands so that the depth between the folds is equal. As you work, watch the folds, not your hands. On the overlap panel, fold the final flap outward. And on the underlap panel, fold it inward. Prior to folding the drapery, cut strips of plastic from the shipping bag to make bands. Once you have created equal folds along the pleat line for the entire panel, use these bands to tie and secure the folds of the panel. Make sure the band is flat and the knot is behind the drapery. Take care not to squeeze the folds. As you are banding, take care to keep the folds equal and level with each other. Position the bands at the bottom and middle of the panel. After both bands are secure, take some time to make sure each fold is equal in size and width. The band should be left on the drapery for 24 to 48 hours after hanging so that the fabric becomes set in the proper folds. The consumer is much more likely to be pleased with its appearance and follow that suggestion if the drapery looks perfect within the bands. Remember that a good first impression of the drapery takes you well along the road toward a satisfied consumer.